Hello viewers, my name is uh, Tode Dada, a pastor in the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Kingdom Builders family in Luton. Today in our Open Heavens uh, Reflection, we're considering the topic, Testing for Unity. Testing for Unity. Our passage is taken from Judges chapter 7, I read the first eight verses. Then Jeroboam, that is Gideon, and all the people who were with him rose early and encamped beside the well of Aaron so that the camp of the Midianites was on the north side of them by the hill of Morah in the valley. And the Lord said to Gideon, The people who are with you are too many for me to give the Midianites into their hands, lest Israel come glory, uh, claim glory for itself against me, Say, My own hand has saved me. Now therefore proclaim in the hearing of the people, Say, Whoever is fearful and afraid, let him turn and depart at once from Mount Gilead. And 22,000 of the people returned, and 10,000 remained. But the Lord said to Gideon, The people are still too many. Bring them down to the water, and I will test them for you there. Then it will be that of whom I say to you, This one shall go with you, the same shall go with you. And of whomever I say to you, This one shall not go with you, the same shall not go. So he brought the people down to the water, and the Lord said to Gideon, Everyone who laps from the water with his tongue as a dog laps, you shall set apart by himself. Likewise, everyone who gets down on his knees to drink. And the number of those who lapped, putting their hand to their mouth, was 300 men. But all the rest of the people got down on their knees to drink. Then the Lord said to Gideon, By thee, 300 men who lapped, I will save you and deliver the Midianites into your hand. Let all the other people go, every man to his place. So the people took provisions and their trumpets in their hands, and he sent away all the rest of Israel, every man to his tent, and retained those 300 men. Now the camp of Midian was below him in the valley. Our reflections for today. Pastor Adeboye, the general pastor of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, advised in the Open Heavens Daily Devotional today that not every warrior or arsenal that is available for battle should necessarily be deployed if victory is to be guaranteed. For certain battles, the highest level of cooperation, agreement, and unity is required, or else it may be lost. In Judges 7, verse 1 to 8, that we read, while preparing to attack the Midianites, God told Gideon to train his army. After a few measures were applied, an army of 32,000 was reduced to a mere 300 men. This means there were 31,700 soldiers whose minds were not prepared for battle. Can you imagine going into a project of battle with people who are not prepared or in support? It could be so frustrating. They will complain over every little difficulty. If they meet with a brick wall, they will call for the leader's head. No wonder when Jesus had very sensitive miracles to perform or very crucial ministerial assignments to carry out. He did not go with the crowd. He had an inner circle, the trial of Peter, James, and John. He took with them at such times. On the other hand, from the Gideon story, we learn that victory is not determined by numbers or size. You can have a crowd, and lose the battle. You can however be few and united and have the victory. Wise leaders prayerfully search for the few who could unite with them to move their God-given vision. But leaders who think otherwise want to go with the crowd. As we reflect on today's Open Heavens reflection, I pray that God will lead you and guide you. Have a blessed day. Bye.